Hello, it's Mike coming at you with another Planet Coaster Park Spotlight. Thank you for joining me, welcome to the video. And welcome to Three Towers, created by the one and the only Michael from MJ Games. Now, of course, most people will be familiar with MJ Games, amazing content creators. I'll, of course, make sure to leave their link down below. But this is Michael's fourth, I want to say fourth park. I don't know, I've, I can't remember how many parks he's done. But this one is something of a treat. So, without further ado, let's have a look at this park on the workshop, shall we? So the description reads, This park is part of a YouTube series on MNJ Games' channel. This park is about 130% on the PS5 and consists of 10 coasters and 14 flat rides. Thank you to Tommy Leeds 23 who would be Tommy P, for the lockers and gift shop items, NH99 for the playground, and web gaming for the benches and spinning wheel in the playground area. Thank you to everybody who has supported the channel throughout the park. I was not able to detail the backstage areas as much due to the counter. Heatwave ins is inspired by I-305, June by the Georgia Scorcher, and Wave Runner by Maverick. I would love to hear your thoughts and critiques so you can reach me at MJ Games. So, excited to get into this one. So, let's hop into the park, shall we? So, here we are at the main entrance. Now, before we hop in to today's park, let's just have a very quick overview of the park. Because this, once again, is another console mega park, utilising the vast majority of the map. And as you can see, there are coasters galore. Because, of course, it would not be a Michael Park without 300 different coasters in the park. So, lots of rides to go on today. Very excited for this. I do probably think that Michael is the best coaster creator on console. If not the best, then certainly one of. So, some very good rides to go on today. But before we even hop into the park, let's go and have a look at this car park, shall we? So, we've got a really nice road layout. I almost said load layout then. That wouldn't have been right. It's not a load layout. It's a road layout. I'm tripping over my own words today. What you don't realise is I've just recorded that intro about four times because I couldn't actually talk. It's Monday morning. I haven't fully woke up yet, alright? I've got up, got a cup of tea, and started filming. Clearly, I never woke up properly. But, really nice car park here. Very big car park as well. Nice size for the park, quite realistic. And then, as we come back around here, we've also got this other car park over this side as well. We've got the disabled park in there, which is always nice to see. Just that realistic touch thinking about that realism and just continuing the car park over here we've got a tunnel just over here where the cars are coming in and out and what's that sign say overflow parking just into this field here so again just thinking of that realism and what have we got down here so we've got some don't die fencing cutting off here as well i assume this be must must be see i told you i can't talk i'm like bet 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 so that must be a staff maintenance area. And then we've got this human resources building here. Really nice build actually. Quite simple and effective, but you can tell what it is. So obviously that would be the staff, human resources, staff rooms, training, things like that. Yeah, really nice to see things like that in the park. Now I am gonna attempt to put my tongue back in and speak proper, proper for the rest of the uh, rest of the video. So let's come down this tunnel and back out here there we go so i've just got another road layout there as well so right da, 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 through the trees oh i like this oh, you've got the ticket booths there as well and i also really like as well that you've hidden the entrance tunnel with this tunnel here yep great job right so let's walk through to the official main entrance shall we so i am quite proud i actually had a little part in this park it was actually my idea to call this park Three Towers because Michael actually built this entranceway first and all this was the very first thing that he built in the park and he put it out on his YouTube for name suggestions for the park and I suggested Three Towers, which is what he went for. So that's my little stamp on the park. 
So we've got the ticket booths there, we've got first aid, we've got men and women's toilets. And then just on this side we've got the will call season pass. Now he put a will call in his previous park and I didn't know what a will call was then. And I still don't. I'm still clueless. I have no idea. It must be an American thing. So, right, let's hop through into the park, shall we? So we've got the season passes there, we've got the turnstiles. That looks ace. You've even got the little scanner where you just put your ticket on there. Beep. There we go. And we come through to this really nice wide entrance. Now, the park is open. And the park has 4,000 guests. You wouldn't think it from looking at this, but there are 4,000 people in this park right now. I think they're all on the rides. So, we've got this water feature just in the centre. Really nice. And then we've got the guest services just to our left. I love this building. I love the glass on the top with the wooden beams. Yeah, that looks ace. And you've even got the rope section as well. Yeah, that's awesome. And you can come through here and then this comes to the shop. So some of these items are from Tommy P on the workshop, Tommy Leeds, who did a lot of these interior shop designs. Nice. And let's just double check to see if there's a backstage area because it's Michael, there usually is. Of course there is, there's a backstage area here. I expect nothing less from Michael. He does love his backstage areas. And access to all of them buildings as well. You've got the vents with the smoke coming out of them. He stole that idea off me. Thief. Right, and then let's have a look over that right side. And then we need to decide which way we're going to go in this park. So we've got the staff room, we've got the toilets which have been blocked off. Got the push chair. Yes! He said push chair and not a stroller. Come on! See, even Chrissy was excited about that. Anyone that heard Chrissy in the background? So this has been an ongoing thing that we've been having with Michael for months. They are called push chairs. They are not called strollers. So we've got the lockers here. Again, those are from Tommy P. Right. So which way shall we go around this park? Uh... Just got a little bit of a backstage area here. Let's make sure that we don't miss that. I like the decoration that you've got on top of the building as well with the ventilation. Yeah, that looks ace, actually. That looks really realistic. You've got all the wiring and everything. Everything is linked with the electric, electrical cables. Really kind of like got into that thought detail. You've even got a little electric box there as well. Yeah, awesome. I do apologise that I can't talk today. I don't actually know what's the matter with me, but as per normal, you're probably, probably, oh my days, probably not expecting a professional spotlight. Oh dear. I'm, I'm looking forward to get on this first ride so I can take a break, go and take a breather and go and get another cup of tea. Because this is crazy. I literally cannot talk today. Don't know what's the matter with me. But I love this. Michael has really been taking some inspiration from Jasmine with his decoration on his flat rides because I know that Jasmine didn't actually do any of the decoration in this park. A lot of people may be looking at this thinking, well, Jasmine did that part for him with her flat ride decoration, but no, this was all Michael. He's really taken a leaf out of Jasmine's book. A leaf, get it, because it's foliage. A leaf. <laughs> yeah. So we've got this chair of plane up here. Really nice done. Nicely done. Oh, when spotlights fall apart. Oh. I've got this carousel over here. Yes, very nice. Let's hurry up and get to the first ride so I can stop filming. Oh. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. Today is a doesn't. So we have our first ghoster. We have Heatwave. So, really nice sign, really nice custom lettering. I like the fact that you put the foliage in front. I can see that you've actually dropped some trees below the ground as well there to create the bushes. Again, stolen from me. Michael, stop stealing my ideas. I told him he could do it, really. It's fine. So, let's have a walk down this queue path, shall we? He's even put paint tool everywhere as well. I'm so proud. Oh, Michael, I'm chuffed. 
<laughs> so we come through here, we've just got this wooden beam covering just up here. It's not going to do a lot in the sense of keeping you dry if it's raining, but still nice little decoration regardless. I do really like that. And a really long queue line as well. That's quite deceptively long, actually. So let's come up here, shall we? And let's come up to Heatwave. Once again, Michael absolutely smashing it with his stations. I love what you do with your stations, Michael. They're always so unique and so different. And as we go around the park, no doubt every single station will be different as well. But they're always really simple, but really effective. Yeah, great job. So let's have a look at the stat for Heatwave, shall we? So we've got green across the board. Very nice. We've got G-forces just under six. Fantastic. Max speed of 70 miles an hour. No inversion, three airtime counts, but three seconds of airtime. So, without further ado, let's hop in this ride. I am going to go and get a cup of tea, and I will be back filming this spotlight in about three days when I can collect my thoughts. Enjoy, everybody! So there we have Heatwave. What a really good coaster that was. I really enjoyed that. Had some really nice smoothing all the way around, some great banking as it went round. It's quite difficult for me to give feedback to Michael on his coasters, as I do believe that Michael is the best coaster creator on the console, as I stated earlier. So it almost feels like kind of I'm preaching to the choir kind of thing. Now after I just filmed that ride, I have gone off, I've just taken five minutes, I have put my tongue back in, and I did actually consider maybe refilming the opening bit, but then I was like, nah, it'll be fine, just leave it in. You all know what I'm like by this point, so it'll be fine, just have a laugh at my expense. It's what most people do. But yeah, love the coaster. One thing that I did notice, now it's not really related to the coaster itself, but it's just this water feature here. And how much better you have got at your water features. So you've got all the rocks all around here as well. Yeah, that looks ace. And of course, it wouldn't be one of Michael's coasters without a transfer track as well. So we've got this building here for the transfer track. Just looks awesome. Looks really, really good. And has he decorated inside? He normally does. Or did he run out of room for this one? No, no, of course he has. He's decorated all inside as well. Just amazing. I love these backstage areas and these transfer tracks that you do. They're so good. But anyway, right, let's carry on with this tour. Let's get this out of the way as quick as humanly possible so I can go and reassess my life choices. So let's carry on down here. And we have the claw. Yeah, really nicely integrated as well. And just gives some great sight lines as well, just as you walk through here. I love the openness of the whole thing. We've got the bumper cars just to our right. And then we've got this toilet block here. Really nice toilet block as well. Yeah, great job with that. I do especially love this wooden beam through the centre there. 
that's a really good effect and once again just with your decoration around as well with your use of rocks and foliage so item come on let's have a quick zoom out let's make sure i'm going the right way so we can also go up there as well uh, i think what we'll do let's have a quick look at this section now shall we so we don't forget it later on so we'll come up in here so there are the bumper cars and then we've got another coaster here now where is the entrance for that coaster ah there we go so we have soaring so let's have a walk down here shall we i like how close it comes to the queue path and then you've got the don't die fencing there as well a bit quiet this right not many people on it we're just going to skip through get down here so just all the way through the queue you can see the ride as well you've got the protective covering just here just as the ride goes over the top great touch once again just for that realism and once again we've got a different type of station so once again simple and effective and let's have a look at the stats for soaring so ooh, some very low stats on this one really low stats so is this maybe just more of a tame younger person's ride maybe don't know well very low stats on this one but let's go for a ride on this enjoy So there we have Soaring. I actually really liked that. It was really tame for a coaster of that type. Definitely more aimed at a younger audience. Maybe just a bit of an introduction into the extreme coasters. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thought it kept up a nice momentum all the way through. And I love this custom supporting that you've done over here as well. That is really impressive. That looks fantastic. That must have taken a while to get right as well yeah love it so let's hop out the exit and down here right and i've got myself turned around again already because of course i have right so we've got that flat right there so let's just carry on walking up here so we have this food court area here. So we've got all the tables and benches just over here. Some nice trimming on that building. I can see that you've used some fencing upside down just around the top. Yep, very nicely done. We've got a car ride just to our right. Now I believe we get round to that to the other side. I'm gonna have to zoom out again. I'm zooming out a lot this spotlight. Yeah, I think we get round to that the other side. And we come down here and then we've got the playground that was created by NH99. Yeah. I've seen that quite a few times in various different parks. Great build as well. And what we'll do is we'll hop back over here and then carry on walking around this way. So, we've got a ride photos just in front of us. With a ride exit just there. And we come round to yet another coaster. So it is just one of them spotlights where we're just coaster, 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 back to back. So this time we have Twister. 
So once again, really nice covering of the queue line. Let's just go all the way down here, shall we? And up here. And another great station once again. So, let's have a look at the stats for this one now. So we have Twister, Green Excitement, not quite green on the fear, but we'll let you off. G-Forces, again, really nice. Seven airtime counts, 4.5 seconds of airtime. So, let's go for a ride on this one. That was absolutely fantastic. What an amazing coaster that is. Don't really have much more to add other than that, to be honest. I really like the placement of it, how it's next to the car park. So when you are parking up, it is going to be a very big sight line of there to build the anticipation of the park. I like the compactness of it. I like how it's intertwining with itself. Some really great turns and banking and the way that it kept up the speed all the way around yeah just absolutely fantastic i really enjoyed that really really good coaster that and of course we've got our oh, backstage as per normal oh not quite the same as normal just this little transfer track just to the side there so let's hop out the exit and we'll go past the photos. And let's carry on walking down here. I like how you've broken the path up as well. With rocks and trees. And the foliage everywhere as well. Really realistic as well. We've got a backstage area here. So that will go off to that coaster there. Where does this one go? Does this one go back to the round where we've just been? Yes it does. I like that. There's just one little backstage maintenance area just connects the two up together. Right. And once again, we have yet another coaster. I do love this custom wall that you've built as well. I think that looks nice. So we have Skyfall. So really riding on the uh, James Bond feel at the moment. Really utilising that big... James Bond factor that's going on around the world at the minute, so utilising that. I love this little water feature. I'm like, ooh, coaster water feature. <laughs> Everyone else is like, oh, look at that big coaster. And I'm like, look at this water feature. That's really cool. Right, so we have Skyfall. Let's have a look down this queue, shall we? Really nice queue line as well. I love just the sight lines of it how it goes underneath here and you can see the lift hill just going up that looks ace we'll carry on walking down again all this custom fencing just to our left and go around here up into the station once again another different station once again and there we go Right, 
I, I wasn't joking, was I, that this was going to be one of them spotlights of just back-to-back -back coaster experiences. It truly is. So, let's have a look at the stats for this, shall we? So, Skyfall, not quite green across the board. G-Force is really good. Three inversions. So, let's go for another ride, shall we? So there we have Skyfall, did exactly what it needed to for a drop coaster, yeah really nice job, very long climb going up at the very start, potentially maybe why you're losing a little bit of excitement, uh, I love this drop, just the sight lines that it gives, I really like the loops, the inversions as it goes around, maybe potentially one too many cars on which could also be dragging down the excitement as well because people are just sat waiting just at the very end just to get back into the station of course because of the amount of coasters that are in this park the rides are not all at max capacity not even close so maybe just reducing the number of trains on this coaster might be worthwhile because of course the queue line isn't very busy either maybe if you even had just the one coaster on this might actually work might just bring up them excitement just a little bit more because i can't see the queue line filling even just with the one coaster but yeah other than that great job really nicely done so right we've got a little bit here that i think i've missed as well we've got the car ride which we probably won't go on a car ride actually because they are quite slow we'll go for an imaginary one. Oh, there we go we've got tommy cm's whirly rig there you go, Tommy. You're happy. So, got an ice cream and milkshake parlour here. Again, just with some more seating. Give some great sight lines as you're sat as well there. Of the coasters that are going on around you. Yeah, that looks ace. And then we've got the queue. So we've got the car ride. The queue for the car ride is busier than the queue for Skyfall. Planet coaster for you. Doesn't make sense. But we'll go with it. So, let's have a look around this car ride, shall we? Really nice decoration around it, some really nice foliage. I did notice a water feature in there as well, which I will be, of course, having a look at in a moment, because of course I will. Water feature. Your water features have come on leaps and bounds since your first park, Michael. They're so much better than they used to be. All you need to do is just go around and just add some rocks and foliage around your water features and it just really brings them to life like that. It makes them look so much more natural. But there we go, there's the car ride. Wasn't that a fun trip, everybody? We all enjoyed that. So, there we go. Now, as we were going around that, I saw that coaster there that we haven't been to yet. I think we've still got about three more coasters to go on, yeah? Just so many rides. So, let's hop back over here. 
I may be whizzing around a little bit quicker than I normally do, but it's because I'm quite conscious of the fact of how many rides we've actually got to go on in this park. I do love this. Love that sightline, how it comes so close to the path as well. And just over that water. It just looks amazing. And the amount of custom fencing that you have in this park is ludicrous. Just so much custom fencing everywhere. And you've got this path down here broken up with this other type of path just to the left. Just honestly, Michael, I can't believe how much you've come on in skill in this game. It, it's funny because Michael's come on in talent in this game and I've gone backwards. I'm still in that building block that I've been having for months. I'm still really struggling to build anything at the moment. I, I don't know what it is, but I just enjoy spotlighting more. That's what it is. Now, I think we've gone past the entrance for that, so we're going to have to come back again. When I was having a quick overview of this park, I was thinking, yeah, this is going to be quite an easy park to get around. And now I've come, and it's not that easy. I'm going to have a look at all this in more detail a bit later on, because I think that might be one of my favourite things in the park. I remember watching him build that in his Let's Play series, and it was just amazing. So we've just got this little walkway here, just where we can come down... And have a look at the coaster. I mean, that comes close as well. Look how close you can actually get to the coaster. Wow. So, back around here. And what ride is this? I can't see a sign. I can't remember what this one is called. So I'll have a look in a second. So we're just going to skip past all these peasants. Move out the way, people. Now that is a cool station that is my favorite station in the park yet that is fantastic what a unique structure as well that's awesome right so what's this ride called wave runner of course it is right so let's have a look at the stats not that it matters not green across the board doesn't matter g-force is well within good limits though to be expected so let's go for another ride once again So there we have Wave Runner. That was my favourite ride of the park so far. I think that was absolutely brilliant. Just from the station alone, just as we set out. Then the ride itself was absolutely fantastic. I love how it goes over the water and so close to the path. The sight line that it gives the very top of this first climb here, how you get the shot of the park that is just fantastic really great inversions all the way around kept up a great momentum brilliant yeah i'm running out of words yeah really nicely done loved it now just before i started filming again i just had a quick overview once again we've still got four more rides to go on four some park spotlights i don't even do four ride povs full stop We've done about 20 already and we've still got four more to go. Crazy. Crazy. But I'll crack on. 
So we've got this flat ride here. I like that canopy that you put over there. I mean, no one's going on it because there's so many rides in this park. How many rides are in this park? 28. Yeah, that'll probably explain it. That, that'll be why. 28 rides. Go figure. So we've got a drop tower there. I just can't get over all this custom fencing that you've done. And the fact that you were able to do this park so quick as well. A couple of months and you did all this, just mind boggling. Right. Once again, just all the rocks and foliage that you've done around as well. Right, and is this the queue for this coaster? I believe it is. Yeah. Or is that the... No, that is the queue for that flat ride. Apologies. So we've got more shops once again. A nice little cut through as well. Just this other side here. That's cool. I haven't even been here yet, have I? See, how, how have I got... How have I got lost again? Right, okay. <laughs> I think I know where I am. I do like that. I like the positioning of it. Quite tactfully done. Quite a centre point for a lot of people to go to. We've got another flat ride once again. Just really great decoration around it once again. I hope them two people, three people there enjoy the ride. There's just too many rides in the park. The guests just don't know which way to turn. Feel like you need a big hotel. This is a two day job, this park. But, right, we're coming up to yet another coaster. So we have June. So you're really playing on this nostalgic of what's going on with films around the world right now. Obviously, of course, with Skyfall and now June as well. I've yet to see the new James Bond film and I've also yet to see June as well. I do really want to watch June, it looks fantastic. Hopefully it comes on uh, Now TV or Netflix soon, because I am very much looking forward to watch that. But anyway, getting sidetracked. So, June. Let's have a look at the stats for this. So again, that green across the board. Is anybody even looking at these stats anymore? Does anyone even care? I'm not that bothered. I'm just showing it, showing it for the uh, stat junkies, for anyone that does care. But, right, so four more rides to go. Let's go on this one. Enjoy. Okay, literally not five minutes ago, I said that Wave Runner was my favourite ride at the park so far. That very quickly got surpassed by June. I thought that was absolutely amazing. By far my favourite ride at the park. I absolutely love that. The inversions on that ride were some of the best of the entire park. I think and some of the best I've seen I just really enjoyed some of them custom inversions that you've made there just absolutely brilliant 
quite simply themed but very tactfully done yeah I, I loved it really really nice job with that and i've noticed as well i didn't actually point any out to anyone is the fact that you built all these custom steps as well to a lot of the um midpoint sections of the ride as well i had noticed some of them on other rides as well so once again just going for that realism we've got the transfer track just down here once again you built inside no not on this one so yeah really nice job love it so right three more rides to go we're we counting down guys uh the exit is there so let's come down here now it's it's quite easy to miss something in this park not because it's necessarily got the most difficult layout ever because it hasn't really got a difficult layout it's just because there's so many rides now I've got one more coaster there to go on and I've got this one here and I've got that one there so I think what we'll do is we've looked at this so we'll, we'll just come back down here and we'll go on this ride here trying to ensure that I don't miss any now that is the ride exit so the entrance will be down here da, 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 da. there we go so iron fighter so nice queue line once again great interaction with the ride itself just constantly going underneath it another nice station once again right stats for anyone that cares green across the board very nice g-force is really good max speed 58 miles an hour four inversions two airtime counts so let's go for a ride on this one So there we have Iron Fighter, once again great coaster, nothing really I can add with the exception of the fact that I love it, it I'm just repeating myself, the coasters are all such a high quality. Now as good as that coaster is, there is something else around here that I think is even better and I absolutely loved it and I've got to find it. Um, was it? Here we go. This backstage area here. I absolutely love that. I think that is so cool how you have done that. Looks so realistic as well. Oh, no, we shouldn't go in there though. That that breaks the illusion somewhat. And then you come up the stairs here and just the thought process behind it all is just amazing i can't believe it i that is one of my favorite backstage areas that you've done or maintenance areas for a ride and as you're looking around there it just looks absolutely fantastic 
The whole ride is so compact as well. It takes up such a small footprint. Yeah, great job with that. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I believe we have only got two rides left. Now, I do apologise, Michael, if I have zoomed through this spotlight a little bit quicker than I would normally do and I haven't been able to stop and appreciate everything in intricate detail just because of the sheer size of the park and knowing how many rides we had to go on that's the main reason so now this is somewhat of a unique ride so we have thunder and lightning and this is one coaster but split into two so it's not a dueling coaster because they do both run on the same track. But just really nice how you've done that. The percentage that must take up as well is insane. Love this station again. How do you do it? Every single station is different. Every single canopy is unique and original. It just looks amazing. Now, the real question is, do we go on thunder or lightning now there is only one way to pick this apologies we are about to have motion sickness i am going to close my eyes spin around for three seconds and whichever way it's facing is the one that we're going to go on so are you ready for this close my eyes on three one two three go one two three go lightning there you go now that is a way to pick which ride to go on. I thought that was quite clever, I'm not gonna lie. I just came up with that on the spot. 200 IQ play right there. So, I, I assume the stats will be very similar. I, I don't think stats really matter too much, to be honest, for this. Um, uh, stats on that one a little bit higher. Not sure what difference it makes, but whatever oh that is cool how they come out to the exit at the same time oh that's ace but right let's have a go on lightning What a cool concept to have put the two rides on the same piece of track and especially to have it called Thunder and Lightning as well. I really enjoyed that. When you said that you were going to do it, I was a little bit anxious of how you were going to pull that off because I know how difficult it can be. And then when you actually did it in the series, it really did pay off. It looks absolutely ace just having the two coasters on the track 
at the same time and the station element having the two split off as well it reminds me of what used to be called air at Alden Towers I think it's now called Galactus I believe I'm sure somebody will tell me down below but air at Alden Towers has that as well where it kind of like splits off into two different stations where you can board and really reminded me of that oh that's a uh, strange camera shot I was just giving some feedback as I was giving some cinematic shots of the ride that's a uh, mm, interesting one of that woman screaming but anyway yeah really really great job I thoroughly enjoyed that so let's head down the exit path and let's make our way to the final ride of the park not gonna lie I feel a little bit motion sick after all these rides so let's have a quick look at this food court here I mean that's a very big food court as well great build again I love the wide openness of the whole thing just the running theme throughout the entire park is just how wide and expansive the entire thing all feels and this leads us beautifully in to our final ride of the park the torpedo hang on let's just better have a quick look at this as well haven't we let's make sure we don't miss anything so we've just got some more shops around here all the custom fencing once again honestly i can't believe how much custom fencing you did in this park blows my mind and what a cool custom fence here as well with the wall and the hedge and then like kind of leveling up as well that might be some of my favorite in the park actually but anyway torpedo let's do it let's get on this final ride of the park so let's go down here this is a uh, quite a busy ride as well actually the guests are not evenly split over the park at all are they but right let's have a look at the stats for this so once again not green across the board once again stats really good once again probably nobody cares so final ride of the park let's do it i hope you enjoy everyone So there we go, Torpedo. Yeah, nice ride. Did exactly what it needed to. It's, it's quite a generic layout, the rides of that type. So yeah, just did exactly what it needed to. Great job. Now, the question is, have we looked at everything in this park? I believe we have. I'm pretty sure we have. It is such a big park to have covered it, it may not really look it from the overview but obviously if you've st sat and watched the entire spotlight just the amount of coasters that we've just had to go on was insane so all we need to do is have a look at this park at night i believe that this may be some of your best lighting that you have done yet lit up really really well 
love all the centre area. I think you've been taking Jasmine as some ideas for your use of lighting. Because just the whole park looks really nice, really tactful, not overly done anywhere. Looks absolutely brilliant. Now one thing that I know that you did add and that you gave me credit for in the series when you did it was there is also a ride camera on this ride as well that actually works. Oh there you go, just over there, you may have just seen it flashing. So yeah, um, I know that you took that from the ride tutorial video that I did a couple of months ago so thank you ever so much for giving me a shout out in your series for that, much appreciated. But, there we go, three towers. So, what are my thoughts on the whole? So, of all the parks that I have spotlighted so far by you, I would say this is quite clearly the best park that you have done. Some really unique styles in this park. Some amazing coasters. That goes without saying, to be honest. Your foliage and lighting is the best you've ever done. I like to have seen the paint tool used around. I think the building work is fantastic. If I was being 100% honest, for me personally, now a lot of other people may disagree with that, with this, which is absolutely fine. But for me, I think there may have been one or two too many coasters. Now, I know, of course, I, th I think that might be a cultural thing as well. Now, we are not used to that many coasters in the UK. Now, of course, in America, I know that you do have these parks with lots and lots of coasters in them. So to me, that's just a little bit jarring. And, and for spotlighting a park such as this, I felt maybe it was just maybe one or two too many coasters. As I said, a lot of people may disagree with me on that which is absolutely fine but the quality of every single coaster was amazing it wasn't like there was a single coaster that i thought oh maybe remove that one because the park could do without that one all of the coasters were so good and i mean i know of course you're not going to go back and remove a coaster but hypothetically if you were it wouldn't be a delete the coaster it would be a take the coaster and put it into a different park rather than actually getting rid of it completely because all of them are so good but yeah i love this park i think it's absolutely amazing 130 percent i can see why i honestly can if there is one thing i would like to see in your next park that you're building is some real big elevation changes of the parks that you have done so far They've all been quite flat, with the exception of Avery Forest. But I know that you and Corey did a lot of the terrain forming before you went into that park. So moving into your solo next park, I would like to see some really big elevation changes. I'd like to see you step away from your comfort zone and play around with that elevation. I think that would be something really different and unique for you because whilst this is your best park, I can tell that this was still your park. So maybe just kind of like break out of your comfort zone for your next park and try and really do something different. But yeah, great job. Loved it. Really, really well done, Michael. If you haven't already, make sure and go and check out their YouTube channel. They do such amazing content. But amongst their coaster spotlights park spotlights their let's play series is both michael and jasmine create amazing videos so yeah go and check them out and if you haven't already please leave a like and a subscribe on this channel as well it really helps me out but thank you ever so much for watching everybody take care stay safe look after yourselves and i will see you in a few days for another park spotlight bye everybody <coughs>